Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me, and um, I am doing an update. It is November 5th, and just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on where I'm at and what's going on in my life and so on and so forth. Not that you really care, but I just need to get shit off my chest as per usual, so if it helps y'all, cool, if it doesn't, cool. Um... As of right now, there is a bunch of bullfuckery happening in my life. Um, I'm just like at wit's end with some things and other things. I'm just like, you know, whatever. Uh, the first thing that has happened is that my tooth has broken off even more. And if you haven't watched the last couple of videos... Um, the tooth on this side here uh, broke off when I went to eat a Snickers bar. Sorry, I'm battling with my cat right now. She feels that she needs all the attention. Um, but anyways, I thought I had um, a peanut stuck in my tooth. And I went to flick it out and the whole side of the tooth fell off. So, yeah, that was not fun. And... Um, I was able to get in to see the dentist, but the dentist really didn't do anything, and, uh, ended up scheduling me out into, like, December 11th, and so tonight, I was, it felt like something was stuck over there, because I had just got done eating something, and I, like, felt around with my tongue, and then I, like, did this sucking motion, and a whole nother piece of tooth broke off down below the gum and came up so yeah I'm freaked out and worried about that right now um hoping that there's no pain or abscessing that happens and I'm gonna be calling him in the morning and like dude you need to get me in ASAP like I can't wait until December type of a situation. Um, I gargled a little bit with uh, some Scope medicated mouthwash and tonight I'm going to uh, dissolve some sea salt, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and um, just kind of gargle and wash my mouth out with that. So yeah, I'm just really like Ugh, about that. And then, um, over the last couple of days, I have been helping my sister move her wonderful landlords after eight years of her living there, um, had to come by and do an inspection of the place and saw that there was some repairs that needed to be done. Mind you, she has told them about repairs needing to be done on her place, multiple times and the first time was shortly right after she had moved in her uh, back door broke and they came in took measurements and then never came back fast forward a few years later um she called and let them know about something else happening they never did anything then june of this year um, she had a leak in one of her bathrooms, she called, and they came out, took a look at it, and then did an inspection of the property, and said, well, we're not going to do anything right now, we're going to wait and tackle everything in the fall. He comes back, the landlord that is, um, he comes back, does an inspection of the property, and says, okay, well, I'm going to get as much done as I can because we are taking off in January on vacation for seven months. So we thought, okay, cool. They're going to have it done in a couple of months and so on and so forth. Well, then fast forward to just about a week and a half. No, last week. Okay, Monday my sister gets a text message from his wife saying, Oh, um, it's a bigger 
problem than what we thought it was going to be. Uh, you may have to find a place to live. Tuesday, get a text message. Um, do you think you will need boxes to move? Come home Tuesday night. There's boxes in my sister's living room. Wednesday, my sister gets a text message. When do you think you're going to be out? Now, I'm not a real estate attorney or anything like that, but I do know you need to have at least 30-day notice, and it has to be formal and not in a text message. So, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I helped my sister box up stuff and um, take stuff to the dump and all that other stuff. So I've just been really beyond exhausted, tired, and uh, so I'm dealing with her stress. I'm dealing with the stress of the fact that she's no longer going to be living quite literally a block away. I'm laying in bed right now because, well, it's really tired and yeah, but she, um, she used to live like less than a half a mile away from me. Now she's going to be a full 25, 30 miles away from me. And I've been having serious problems, like medical wise. Um, my, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video or not, but my, um, my blood pressure has been really bad lately and I don't know if it's attributed to the fact that my blood pressure is just bad or if it's because of my tooth being messed up or what have you um yeah my nails are still black from dressing up for Halloween um so my doctor wants to put me on heart our blood pressure medication and I've been doing I told him I wasn't going to start it right away, that I wanted to start uh, using um, homeopathic herbal supplements. So I made up some, um, after watching a YouTube video of what herbs to use, and I, I've i been taking those uh, two to three times a day. And I noticed that my heart has... Um, it feels like it's starting to regu regulate itself. Like, it'll still beat really fast. And, um... Then it seems to, like, calm down really quickly. Like it normally sh like it normally would. So, I don't know if it's a culmination of the different um, supplements I'm taking. Or if it's just my body regulating itself. Or if I've just gotten so used to my... Um, blood pressure being high and my heart pounding hard that I don't notice it as much as I used or as I was so there's all that um, so yeah just a lot of shit going on a lot of shit going on and um, I I'm trying to keep a good open positive thought about everything and just keep my mind open um, and try not to stress her out too much with some of the concerns that I have not only with m my own concerns with her not being nearby but with just the concerns of where she's moving to so um, yeah I've been doing a lot of meditating and praying and whatever else you want to call it just to try to throw good energy and good vibes out there and help her but any of you who know anything about like astrology and, sh and stuff like that mercury retrograde is always a bitch and it seems like this time every year something detrimental happens um i don't know if it's a coincidence or if it does have anything to do with the astrology or what have you but 
for lack of a better term, it is what it is, I guess. So, um, I gotta go back and help my sister this weekend, uh, with the finishing touches on her place so that she, um, can be completely out of it. And, um, this week I got to clean up my living room and get everything situated and prepared for when, um, this weekend does roll around because my sister is giving me her couch and a uh, big love seat. Well, it's not a love seat. It's it's a big chair, and so um, yeah. So I got to get that all cleared out, and I took a bunch of stuff from her house that um, she was getting rid of or didn't want. And I thought, you know, well, she's probably going to want this stuff later on down the road. So, like, she got rid of a flat screen smart TV, and I took that. And then uh, she got rid of, like, a bunch of other stuff, and then some stuff that my niece had left behind, like all of her art supplies and sewing kit and stuff like that. So, I took that because I'll use the art supplies, and I've been wanting to put together a sewing kit. So, now I have. My niece's handheld sewing machine and all of her bobbins and all that other stuff that go along with it. And um, when my niece moved out, she didn't take much of that. She didn't take any of that stuff with her. And then my my friend Carmen and I are putting together a art studio in in her garage. So some of the art supplies that I have. Um, I'm going to box up and put take over to the art studio that we're putting together. So I thought, you know, I'll take all the crafting stuff that my sister is getting rid of and just go from there. Uh, so, yeah, just a shit sandwich served piping hot. Anyways, um, I'm starting to ramble now, and... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments section down below. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe. And um, if you want to get a hold of me, you can stick a um, comment down below or send me an email, hellocupcakeitsme at gmail.com or hit me up on social media. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.